How's it going everybody, Ben from Bunch of Pokemon here, and on this video I'm going to be opening a Paldean Fates Elite Trainer Box. It's finally here, and I'm actually really really hyped about this set, as I am with most new sets, because new cards are always nice, and these ones in particular, um, or this set in particular, contains some very very cool cards. Most of the cards from um, Shiny Treasure EX. So lots of chase cards in this set, you know, between the Charizard, um, the Guard of War, what else is there? Trainers like Yono, Clive, so many amazing pulls in this one. There's like one more, oh you're right, the Mew, <laughs> the Mew, can't forget the Mew, that's the most important part. Um, this is an elite trainer box, if you don't know, you get this little information paper with like some new mechanics, if there are any, and then of course a whole collection list of, of the cards in this set. Lots of baby shiny Pokemon, of course. Wonder if I can pull the Pikachu again. Really want to pull a Mew, if I can. Uh, priority list of pulls would probably be Mew, Guard of War, Charizard, and then like any of the full art trainers, Yono and Amona. Any of those. Um, and I'd be very happy with. Um, in Shiny Treasure EX, I did pull the, um, whatchamacallit, the Pikachu, which actually was the best baby shiny you could pull out of that set. But here we are, of course, the main event are these booster packs, which are gonna be amazing, let's put these aside. You also get, like, um, damage counters, a dice, and, like, burn and poison markers, as per usual. Some, like, card dividers, it appears, also a code card, there you go, this is for you. There you go, enjoy. Let's see if I can find anything else. And we should also get here. Yeah, this is the this is the Mimikyu promo. In Japanese, this is actually very expensive. At least it was. I don't know how expensive it still is. But this is an amazing promo. I really, really like this card. But then again, I do like Mimikyu. Of course, a packet of energies, some cool sleeves, all of that good stuff. Let me just put that stuff back in here for now. And then sort through it later off camera, I guess. For now, we have to contend with these, with these Paldean Fates booster packs. Um, hopefully the pull rates are not as bad as Pokemon 151, but I guess we'll see. Let's just put them over here and start with our first one. I guess pull rates for Pokemon 151, um, the main reason they were so bad was just because of the bad seeding, I guess. Um, hopefully they fixed it with this one. Of course, you're, you're bound to see some, some mixed feedback online. People just opening most ridiculous ETBs and then you don't get anything. That's just how it goes most of the time. That's just how it goes. We got a rare candy. Oh my god, okay. First booster right off the bat, Paldean Student. Very, very nice. A full out trainer. And as you know, I do like him. So there we are. Here's the code card for that one. Okay, uh, on closer inspection, this card seems to have some print lines. I mean, not that it matters. It's going right into my, my trait binder, probably. So this is still very, very cool. Hopefully that's not the only pull, although I'm pretty happy about that. I don't think anything is promised. You're not even promised baby shinies in, in any of these. So we'll see what else we can pull here. Let's see, well there is the Paldean student. We already have that. I wonder why it's Paldean student, not Paldean students, you know, plural versus singular. I don't know why that is. Feels like a missed opportunity, Fanby. And a Cerulech. I really want to pull at least one baby shiny, because I really want to see the borders. Because the borders, from what I've seen on pictures, the borders are also supposed to be textured. Which is, I think, is gonna look very, very cool, and for the first time in ages, I feel like Baby Shinies, or English cards, will look better than Japanese ones. That's usually never the case with any of these. Usually never. Here's Yono. She also has a very interesting full art in this one. Oh, a Squawkabilly EX! Nice! A shiny one! Don't mind if I do, that was even in the reverse spot. A rever room in the hollow spot. Okay, pull rates so far seem to be really good, unless I've gotten a box that is really, really stacked. Here it is. Quality control though, I can see another print line on this, but once again, 
Doesn't matter. This is going straight into my trait binder, probably. Very, very nice. I do like these, these shiny ones, actually. I'm really curious if these are gonna end up as cheap as the Japanese versions. The Japanese versions were actually featured in my last, um, collecting on a budget video. So I, I wonder if these ones are also gonna be, gonna be pretty cheap after a while. Probably not all of them, but I think most of them. Now I guess only time will tell you for the Pikachu, very cute looking. Let's see, really want to pull like one baby shiny at least. Still, we've gotten two amazing pulls so far. That's, that's, that's really, really nice. Here we have an armor oak. Yeah, we pulled the Cerulech, now we pulled the armor oak. Not too shabby, here's the code card for you, of course. And let's see. That was really easy to open. Wait, if they're easy to open, that means there is nothing in this one, right? Only if they're hard to open. Well, I did say that the last time, and then I pulled an, an Alakazam um, SIR. So maybe, maybe the easy ones to open are the ones that can... Is this from Kawayo? It is from Kawayo. I thought I recognized the art style. That looks very, very cool. Very, very cool, Curlia. Let's see. Oh, here we are. Nice. One baby shiny. Very, very good. Okay. Nice, we've got a Satu, and here is the code card for you. Okay, so these baby shinies, I actually really love the border. I thought the border was gonna be like these rare ones, where it's just like, you know, a hollow pattern. No, these ones, I don't know if you can tell on the video, these ones are actually a bit textured. This looks very, very nice. I really, really like these. Man, okay. They have really outdone themselves with these baby shunnies this time around. These look amazing. Well done. Absolutely well done. Still have four booster packs left. If we can pull something more, I don't know. Feel like we've gotten most of what we wished for. Well, not what we wished for, but we've gotten three great pulls. Which is more than I normally get from an ETB. Usually my luck with, with elite trainer boxes is very, very bad. So I'm glad to see it be turned around here. Okay, I actually wasn't, well, I was planning to open um, the booster boxes once they release um, next month, I think. But this this set is so much fun. It's more fun than Pokemon 151. I might open the, um, the blisters. I've heard the blisters contain like very good pulls or have like good pull rates. I mean, you know, it's all chance. Nothing is promised. But I think I might want to open some more blisters at some point. Maybe just, maybe just don't do that for a video on Saturday. Maybe just put, put a video like in between because it would be a short opening. Or maybe even a shorts video, you know, that would be cool. Open like one up for a shorts video. I could do that. I could definitely do that. Now let's see what we can find in these last three booster. We have a Charmander, very cute. We have a Barboach, very cute, don't judge me. We have a Raichu, very cute. And the Lightning Energy, fitting for the Raichu. Not too bad. Two booster packs left. Um, a Pikachu one. We're gonna save the Pikachu one for last. Maybe we can we can please the gods. Also, the, the, the autofocus is freaking out. I just saw that for a second there, okay. Welp, 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 welp. We're all done soon. Calm down. Calm down, camera. Chin Chow. I've got another Curlia. Technical Machine. A Dax Bun. Lechunk. Okay, so my phone just randomly stopped recording again. I hope I got the upside down Charizard pool. I think I did. Whoa, I didn't even know this was. Wait. Oh no, it is in here. I just saw the thing at the bottom and I thought it said um, Paldea Evolve, but no, this is actually in. I didn't even know that. I thought. That was an Obsidian Flames, or is that a reprint? Okay, so no, this card is actually in the set. The copyright says 2024, so it's not like a um, a missed, mispackaged booster pack or something. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. Charizard, the wrong kind of Charizard. I was hoping for the special illustration where, but it's Charizard nonetheless. And one booster pack left. I mean, so far, looking at my pulls, I'm very happy with this opening, I do have to admit. I am very happy with this one feel like we've gotten well our worth. Well, probably not in monetary value, but if you've watched some of my videos, then you know I really don't care about the prices of the Pokemon cards, unless I have to buy them, because I have to know much, how much to spend. 
But, you know, it is what it is. We've got a mischief. We've got a Mr. Mime Jr. Oh no, it's just a Mime Jr. And, hey, Mac Mortar as the last pull right here. No last pack magic for us. But I think, I think we've gotten well or worth it, I've said. Really, really awesome pulls. So, Paldean Student. We've got a Squackabilly EX. We've got a Charizard EX upside down. And we've got a Palafin. So my opening has been a success for me personally. I hope yours has too if you're opening this. As I've said, I, I probably will open a few blisters. Maybe in a shorts video, maybe I'll make a full video, I'll have to see. Uh, but anyways, that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix it for future videos. Right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.